Yo, what's going on everybody? Hope everybody is doing well. Today we're going to be talking about the Tenet Diplos. And let me go ahead and tell you, these sidearms are quite, uh, underwhelming, <laughs> to say the least. What exactly do I mean? Well, first, let me talk to you about the weapon itself and the fact that it actually has a unique trait. And that unique trait actually activates lock-on mode whenever you aim down sights. You can lock on to eight enemies at a time, and whenever you actually fire with the weapon in lock-on mode, it will shoot out projectiles instead of the normal full auto bullets. Meaning when you scan the max amount of enemies which is eight you will get 32 projectiles whenever you actually fire with the weapon and before i even got this weapon i actually read up on this unique trait and that alone was enough for me to be like okay yep i've seen enough i want to get this weapon i want to make a build the lock on mode sounded promising and the fact that it got projectiles also sounded promising but those projectiles quite literally have the exact and i mean the exact same base damage as the actual regular shots as well as the same base crit chance and base crit multiple multiplier and base status chance so it, it's a uh, it's really not that different the only difference is the fact that it has way faster projectile speed and uh my boy uh, that lock on mode is just honestly super underwhelming but do keep in mind even though this weapon is definitely lackluster you can still perform decently well with this weapon especially if you pair it with a damage buff or multiple damage buffs and you could also pair this weapon with a warframe that strips armor which obviously means you'd be doing more damage to those enemies because they have less armor but nine times out of ten you're probably not gonna use these secondary weapons over another pair of secondary weapons in the game and one thing you also got to keep in mind is the fact that i only formed this weapon one time and obviously you could argue because i only have formed this weapon once it could be much better with much more forma but i'm just saying man i've seen a lot of other secondaries with the same amount of forma do infinitely better than this weapon nonetheless though let's go ahead and go over the mod setup that i got with the tenant diplos i got prime convulsion and prime heated charge so i can get radiation with this weapon galvanized diffusion for extra multi-shot, galvanized shot for extra status chance, hornet strike for a flat damage bonus, and critical bullseye for a flat critical chance bonus. And long story short, at the end of the day, I'm probably not going to be finding myself using these weapons too much unless they actually give the projectiles a buff, maybe the lock-on mode a buff somehow. But regardless, I'm curious to know what you guys actually think of this weapon. Feel free to let me know your thoughts on the Tenet Diplos and my Tenet Diplos build down below. And if you got a build with this weapon that actually makes it pretty disgusting, feel free to leave that in the comments as well before this video ends real quick just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel you guys have been going crazy with the support and i really do appreciate it yeah guys that's gonna be it for me keep your head up stay positive and with that being said thanks for watching